Here, have one. I got your favorite. Chocolate, yeah? Mm-hmm. Chocolate. Oh, damn, that's hot. Great. <laughs> I hope it starts to another wonderful day as one of America's finest. God bless America. <laughs> what? what are you laughing at? What's the problem? Vanelli, every time we start patrol, you always complaining. If you don't like the job, why don't you quit? What? Unless the excitement of getting shot at every day. Which reminds me. Wear it. Hey, you know, I don't like those things. You never know. Only for you, Spinelli. Car 14, car 451, disturbance at 6th and Main. PR states a lot of noise and bottles being broken. Car 14 proceeding. Yes, little brother. Section here. Oh. Hey, come on, Max. Are you making trouble for my little brother? Come on, he's grabbing the girl. Messing with my little brother is like messing oh, with me. what I tell you? Another yeah. wonderful day. You can break it up now. Like we're giving a few rides home tonight. You handle this, I'll check inside. Hey, Michael, come over here. Me? Yeah, you. Hey, hey Officer Grant, how's it hanging? What do you mean, how's it hanging? Oh, nothing. Put your feet together. Next time you have a party, I'd appreciate an invite. Stop it. That's enough. Let him go. Didn't you hear what I said, son? I heard you, pig. What are you gonna do? Shoot me? You let him go, and I want to arrest you. Yeah, I'm not supposed to believe that. Shoot him! Big, you're gonna pay for this. Free, free, hands on top of your head. Turn with the red dress, open the door now. Turn around and walk out. It could have happened to anybody. It didn't happen to anybody. It happened to me, Spoon. It happened to me. Can't wait to see me. You got to deal with this, Billy. Where are you gonna go, man?
in school. Aren't you excited? Yeah, Mom. Moving to a new school in the middle of my senior year. That's what every kid dreams about. Miles. Come on, sweetie. Put all on in here. Really? Hey, kid. Thanks. Hey, want to get a kiss goodbye? Uh, Mom. Okay, I'll pick your dad just. Don't worry about it. I'll walk home. You shouldn't give me a thermos. Oh, Kitty! Kitty! Got a name? Ken. Ken what? Marks. Marks, I'm Mr. Kowalski, vice principal. You got a problem, you come see me. You know how to read? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, that's refreshing. Listen, let me lay out a few campus rules for you. No smoking, no profanity, no graffiti, no fighting, no weapons, and no sex. You like sex? <laughs> well, never mind. On campus, keep it in your pants. Listen, you stick to these rules, I'll stay out of your face. You don't, I'll become your worst nightmare. You got it? Yes, sir. Good, have a nice day. You, you want to look stupid, lose a cigarette. Hey, meathead. Your parents have any kids that lived? Sheesh. Listen, please, my sensei, don't talk about him that way. Get out of my way. Why are there potatoes on the board every day? All right, class has begun. I want gum out of the mouths now. Now, who can tell me what happened in Mr. Fine's algebra class yesterday? Some dick freshman got his butt kicked. Watch your mouth, Tom. It was. That was his name, Dick. <laughs> yeah, he sat by the quarterback's girlfriend. That was a big mistake. Because he was sitting by a girl? That's right. He had to go to the hospital. It's not my problem. He deserved it. Yeah, well, I heard he was stabbed. Oh. <laughs> then I guess he got the point. <laughs> oh. You may make
make light of this, but I find this behavior rather shocking. So I'll warn you right now. If I see any weapons, guns, knives, whatever, whoever they belong to, give me that. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm late, but it's my first day at school. I couldn't find the classroom. Well, perhaps you should have come earlier and allowed more time to find the room then. I tried, but my schedule. What's your name? Dick. <laughs> Ken Marks. All right, well, I will grant you amnesty on this one occasion, Kenneth. Do you see that desk back there? Yes, ma'am. Sit in it. Yes, ma'am. Over here, Kenneth. Nice thermos, Kenny. Uh, <laughs> Kenneth, love. Death wish. Excuse me. The blonde, Julie. She's beautiful. She's elegant. I mean, just forget about it. She's trouble. Why? Because her boyfriend is Godzilla. He's a bad man. Hey, you like these? They allow me to sleep, but still look like I'm paying attention. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Um, my name's Mike. Ken Marks. Welcome, Ken. Our little school here may not look like much fun, but there's a good reason for that. It isn't. <laughs> now just sit back, relax, and try and learn something. Good night. Hey, off that skateboard. You see what happens? Now get out of here. First day with a new locker. I don't suppose you can open this thing. Oh, yeah, it's probably the five-prong modulator. It gets stuck with it, Mitty. Just a little torque in this baby. Oh! So, Ken, um, what brings you to this armpit of the universe? Well, uh, Mom lost her job, and we had to move where the work was, so... Well, wow, you're senior year, too. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I mean, it's just me and her. Yeah, well, what about your friends? Guess I'll just have to make new ones. Whoa! Whoa! Ugh. Oh, whoa! Oh, man. Ugh. I need a nurse. Nurse! Did you enjoy it? Okay. This really isn't such a bad place once you get the hang of it. Certain people you've got to avoid, and others... You don't want to be seen with him. Like Mr. Johnson. He's a struggling actor. He played Bozo the Clown once. <laughs> now over there, we have Stinky Broom. He never changes his clothes. Don't go near him without a gas mask. He, he got detention for smelling so bad. Those are the skinheads, AKA Nazi warriors. Don't look. Now over here, we've got Biff and Powell. Our local football heroes. They like male bonding, you know? You know what I don't understand, though? Where I'm from, we weren't all broken up like this. I mean, everybody was friends. Well, this isn't back home, all right? Now, just stick with me and you'll be fine. Oh! No, no, no. Not her. What did I say about her? Look, I was just gonna go say hi to her. Her boyfriend will rip your face off. Just like that. Come on, man. What could happen? It's been nice knowing you, Ken. Hi. Hi, I'm Ken Marks. I'm a new student. I just thought I'd come over and say hi. Hi, I'm Julie. It's nice to meet you, Julie. Is the seat taken? Uh... What the hell is this punk doing? Looks like he's talking to your girlfriend. Gina, handle Mr. Johnson. Make sure he doesn't see this. 
Who's this guy think he is? I don't know, buddy. Just looking for trouble. Hi, Mr. Johnson. Um, I was thinking about your lecture last week. Um, secondary sexual characteristics. And, um, I was wondering... Look, Ken, don't take this the wrong way. But you probably shouldn't be talking to me. I kind of have this boyfriend. Oh, I heard about him. But that shouldn't stop me from trying to make new friends, should it? <laughs> Actually, it shouldn't, but... Stupid. Oh, my God. Ken, leave right now. Oh, what's going on? It's my boyfriend. He's here. Come on, he can't be that shit. Ken, else. run! You're kidding me. Run! What do you think you're doing? Nothing. I'm just going to watch where you're going. I'll be right with you. I'll be right with you. What's up? You trying to pick a fight with me? I was just trying to say hi to her. Is there anything wrong with uh, me? Talking to her is messing with me. I wasn't trying Tom, to. Tom, Tom. Leave me alone. Please. I wasn't doing anything, babe. This guy started with me. Hey, he didn't know about you. He's new here. You just got lucky for now. Next time. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, I've been looking for you. You see that sign up there? Is that your work? Take a look. All right, let's see what you got in the bag. Yeah, I thought so. Paint, yeah, you're the guy. Come on, I want you to go to the office. Hey, kid. Hey, man. You know, if it weren't for gravity, that would be much easier. Where you been all day? Hiding. The guy's a madman. <laughs> I hate to say I told you so, but... Yeah, well, I, I didn't understand, okay? Great, so what am I supposed to do now? Well, there's a train leaving for New York in about a half hour. You're a fast runner. Yeah, thanks, man. Well, listen, I just remembered I left my cat in the microwave. I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. If I make it that far. Oh! Hi there, Kenneth. Now, I realize we just met, but I gotta tell you, I don't like you. I don't know, maybe it's your clothes, stupid haircut. <laughs> I just can't quite put my finger on it. Let me tell you something, Kenny. You stay away from Julie, got it? Okay? Got it? Yeah, got it. Because if you don't, bad things could happen to you. Like this. Oh. <coughs> Take his wallet. <coughs> don't even think about it, pal. <coughs> <coughs> Nice saver. Ten bucks. It's not about money, Kenny. It's about respect. Let's get out of here. We'll be pissed if we're late. Bye, Kenny. <laughs> Kind of tough being a new kid, isn't it? Yeah, I never expected it to be this hard, though. You must not be from around here. No, I'm from Salinas. It's in Kansas. <laughs> What's so fun? Not in Kansas anymore, are you? You know, thanks. The thing is, everyone around here thinks I'm from some hick place with a bunch of cows and no plumbing. It's not like that at all. I mean, it's just like this place, but smaller. Sounds nice. You have a lot of friends back there? Yeah. I mean, heck, there were only 50 kids in my whole class at school. Only 50? Yeah. How's it feel? It's okay. So why'd you move here? Dad, get a new job? My mom's looking. My dad died a couple years ago. Sorry to hear that. That's okay. Anyhow, a lot of people were out of work. My mom thought she could find a job here. So here I am. Hey, you do fine here, kid. You got a lot of guts. 
And that's all you need. Thanks. My name's Ken. Nice to meet you. I'm Billy. Hey, I know you got better things to do than hang out with a janitor. Get out of here. Go ahead. Thanks. You are the master of your opponent. Kindness, mercy, these have no place inside this ring. I want to see you fighting in here, not just kicking and punching your opponent, but destroying him, crushing him, controlling him. Success is control. Control is success. You! Success is control! Control is success! Again! Success is control! Control is success! Pitiful. Again! Success is control! Control is success! Success is control! Control is success! Again! Success is control! Control is success! You! Success is control! Control is success! You! Success is control! Control is success! As you know, we are conducting trials for our fights today. I seek the next challenger, the one who will take on Tom in the ring tonight. I will judge their performance myself. How about our tardy friend? Picking on someone at school today. No, I wouldn't do that. Oh. Shut up. You fight for me, Tom. You don't fight unless I tell you to. I bet Lee used to beat people up when he was younger. Yes, yes, he did. But now he says it for students who don't do as they're told. Now get your ass in gear. What you gonna fight tonight? work. Mm, not bad. Feet are killing me. Tell you I have got to get a job or I don't stand up all night. You know, there might be a position open at the school. I could check for you. Sure you don't want to ride to school? No, I'll be fine. You get some rest. Okay. Good night. tried to warn me, I just didn't understand. Good, that makes me feel better. 
You know, everyone's so scared of Tom that it's been a long time since any guy has just come up and said hi to me. I can understand why. So annoying. I just never realized how much before. You know, maybe you should talk to Tom about that. Big crowd, too. Oh, sure. I'm serious, guys. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, all right. Right there. Angela, if you wear that again, I will send you home. Son of a bitch. He just doesn't understand, does he? Tom, remember what Kate said? Kate was talking about business. This is pleasure. Listen, we've got plenty of time for this guy. No gun. Tom's not in the classroom, OK? Sector, everything looks copacetic. It's a good LZ. Sector 7 is clear. We're there, man. Hey, would you can the military stuff? Everything's gonna be fine, all right? Uh oh. Temptation, 12 o'clock. <sighs> hey, no interaction. Do you want another surprise attack or something? Look, all I did was wave to her. You can't get pissed off about that, can you? Mr. Johnson. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. What's going on? I wouldn't be too sure about that. Oh, no. He can't be here, too, man. All right, I'll cut him off. Just go. Evasive action now. myself perfectly clear yesterday when I politely asked you to stay away from Julie? I didn't do anything. I just waved to her. <gasps> You're messing with my woman, and I'm not going to stand for it. You never learn your lesson, do you, pal? <laughs> Guys, get your shoes off my floor. Excuse me? Get your shoes off my floor. We're busy in here. Buzz off. And leave the boy alone. Why don't you go clean the toilet, okay? <laughs> hey, leave the kid alone. Three prayers. You guys are making a big mistake. Back to rear move. Kid. You're a hero. Good job. Look, for the last time, I didn't do it. The janitor did, okay? <laughs> I didn't see any janitor. All I saw was you. Look, we're gonna find that janitor and we're gonna settle this right now. Hey, nice fight, Tom. <laughs> what the hell is this? Don't these people know who's in charge here? 
in no time, there might be a new sheriff in town. I'm gonna kill us a little bit. Let's go. Not right now, Tom. We got... We gotta go to the dojo, okay? Yeah, well... Tomorrow. He's toast, you hear me? Tomorrow. You got that? Ken Marks is dead! Ken Marks is dead! Hey, Billy. Hey, Ken, how you doing? Look, I wanted to thank you for what you did for me today. I don't know why you did it, but thanks. Hey, let's just say I saw a man who needed a hand, and I was glad to help him out. You really did do it? Whoa, Kung Fu janitor. That's so subversive. I mean, that's... Look, Billy, I really appreciate what you did for me. But the thing is, it's not going to make those guys any nicer to me. In fact, it's probably going to make things worse. And I was hoping that maybe you could hey, help me. I can't get more involved. I understand. Let's go. Hey, Ken. Everything will be all right. Yeah, sure. James. Hi, yeah. I've set everything up for tonight, so you're on. Yeah. That's right. What's your problem, Tom? Let's go. Come on, man. James, look up. I gotta go. He wants to see you, hotshot. Now! Looks like someone beat the crap out of him. Yeah. The janitor at my school sensei, he's, he's a lunatic. I was just teasing this kid, you see him for no reason. He jumps me from here. What have I told you about weakness? It's disgraceful. And when you disgrace yourself, you disgrace me. You did not have control. You have brought shame upon yourself and my dojo. Humiliation. The pain I give you outside should be nothing compared to the pain you feel inside. We are winners at my dojo. We do not let others control us ever. If you fail again, you will be lucky if I decide to let you live. You know where the door is. Leave through it. Beat him up must be one hell of a fighter. Why don't I just go check out Tom's story and see about this janitor? out you're taking credit for beating him up he's gonna rip you to shreds and nail you home in a shoebox two days ago nobody wanted to talk to me now everybody here wants to be my friend why because they think i drew blood wow, drawing blood is a very impressive talent i mean not everybody can do it hey uh look i'm sorry about after school yesterday that's okay my problem's not with you it's with tom yeah but you stood up to him that's not exactly true Look, Julie, you are a really nice person. But I just can't talk to you anymore. 
It hurts too much. Oh. Wait a second. How can you say that? I thought you wanted to be friends. I do. I, I did. I... Look, I just can't, okay? I'm really sorry. I can't. Take your seats and shut up. This is very funny. Thank you very much. All right, where is it? Who took my desk? That's not funny. I want to know who took this desk. You are all going to spend the next semester in detention if I don't find out. I want names, all right? Who took my desk? Get rid of the knife. What's going on here? What do you think this is? Your living room? Come on, pick this stuff up. Come on. Move it, Joe. Hey, kid! Oh, great catch, man. Where were you? I ate at the library. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't tell me about those people who actually studies. Look, I was worried. About being mailed home to my mother in a box? Oh, that... I was only joking about that. I mean, Tom would never, ever... You ever know something about... Would never do what? The guy with glasses? Oh, oh Jesus! Ken! I hear you've been telling people you beat me up yesterday. Tom, I didn't say that. Everybody's... I don't like people telling stories about me, Neil Dick. When they do, they pay the price. Tom, this is insane. Uh... there, buddy, doing a good job. Only I'm the king of this school. You got that? Oh. oh, no, 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 no. You understand me? This is fun, isn't it, Kenny? Isn't this fun? This is your hero? He's nothing. This is your hero? You ain't replacing nobody, Kenny boy. You got that? Anybody else want a piece of me? You're pathetic. Let's go. What happened to you? Have a seat. They came after me again, just like I said they would. I told my mom this was a stupid idea. I didn't want to move. I didn't want to leave. Calm down. Just relax. Relax. Oh, man. What am I supposed to do now? Go into hiding? Move to another school? No. You got to learn to protect yourself. <laughs> and I'm going to teach you. You are? Yeah, because they're not going to stop picking on you until you start standing up for yourself. Right? Right. This is self-defense. Screw self-defense. This is called getting in shape. Don't let me stop you. Get those elbows moving. Okay, this is the last one. I want you to do an extra good job. I get it. When this is all over, I'm gonna know how to do all kinds of karate bucks, right? It's like uh, wax on, wax off, paint the fence, sand the floor. No. 
This is called toilet cleaning. It teaches humility. Then I want you to start over here on this journals. Okay? Yeah, okay. See ya. This is your living room. There's no smoking on campus. You know that. Hey, what are you guys doing? Making an X-rated movie? Come on, let's see some daylight in there. One more time, it's attention. Paco, who's the hat? You look like a pimp. What is this, Julia? You're avoiding me? Me? I can't believe you, Tom. What you did to Ken was terrible. He broke the rules, so he pays the price. He said hi to me. Never mind, Julie. I don't want people talking to you. They don't. You never used to be like this. So I learned a few tricks from Lee. Doesn't make me a bad guy. Yeah, well, then maybe you'll have to choose between him and me. I don't have time for this right now. So we'll talk about this later, all right? Yeah. What the hell are you looking at, Marks? Want your butt kicked again? Good afternoon. Hi. I'm Vice Principal Kowalski. Uh... How can I help you? I'm interviewing for the substitute teacher position. Sex education? Really? Well, I hope we'll be working together. It's right this way. Thank you. Have a nice day. Come on, Ken. Go, come on, come on. Good job. Good job. That was good, but you gotta do another one. You know you gotta give me another one, right? <sighs> Come on, yeah, I want another one. Come on, let's go. Push it. Push it, come on. Push it. Yes. Yes. Lee! Lee! What the hell are you doing? You could have hurt me. I need to know more about this man. I want you to learn more now. Listen to me. No! You know, Ken, you're in pretty good shape. But I want to test your reflexes. How do you want to do that? Yeah. What the hell are you doing, man? If you can get out of the way of these, you can get out of the way of anybody's attack. Yeah, but if you hit me with one of those, that's going to hurt. Oh, God. No kidding, Sherlock. <sighs> Thank you. 
I get you now. Go ahead, kick it. Ah, damn it! You keep hitting me in the same place. You got a blind spot. And you got to scan your toes. Hey, you're doing good. You're making a lot of progress, so just keep your spirit, okay? I guess I'm just distracted. I got this problem, and I don't know what to do about it. What is it? It's a girl. Oh, that kind of problem. She's the girlfriend of the guy that kicked my butt last month. Really? Yeah. And I like her. I mean, I've liked her from the start. But when Tom started pushing me around, I told her I couldn't talk to her anymore. Why don't you ask him for trouble? Well, the thing is, Tom's gonna beat me up whether I ask Julie out or not, so... Might as well get beat up for a reason. First of all, you gotta get her talking to you again. Okay. Hey. Hey. Does this mean you think it's safe to talk to me again? Probably not, but I'm doing it anyhow. <laughs> Listen, Julie, I'm sorry about that. I really want to be your friend, but Tom is just always... I guess I can't blame you. Oh, hey. This is for you. It's kind of a new friendship offering. Thanks, Ken. It's really sweet of you. Hey, Julie, you know, I was wondering if, um, maybe you and I could, uh, get together or something, like, after school or Friday night? Ken, are you asking me out? Well, um, not on a date, necessarily. Just, just as friends, just for fun. Maybe ice cream or something. I'm sorry, Ken. I would really love to, but I can't. I understand. You had a boyfriend and everything. Oh, Ken, you're a really nice guy. It's just that I've been dating Tom for a long time, and I just think he's a little confused right now. He's kind of gotten bothered. Look, pardon me. I'm not sympathetic where Tom was concerned, okay? No, I don't expect you to be. Sometimes I think about calling it off. But it's like I feel trapped. Kind of like I have to stay with him for now. But you don't have to if you don't want to. No, I do. I, look, I can't explain it right now. I'll see you in class, will you? You asking Julia? I was trying to. And you asked Billy instead of me? What is he? The janitor of love? Ken. I know women. I'm suave. Oh, is that so? I could have taught you plenty of things, buddy. <laughs> like what? Watch this. Hey, baby, how you doing? Good at Jerks. Bad example. <laughs> right, let's find another girl with taste. Yeah, real suave, buddy. What? Here you go, bud. Oh, man, thanks. Man, why don't we work out in there? It's 100 degrees. Heat is pressure. You do better under pressure. Heat increases your stamina, your drive, and your endurance. Yeah, man, and your need for deodorant. Yeah, it is a couple cans of soda over there in the pail. Hey, punk. Long time no see. What do you want, Tom? I hear you've been learning to fight. That's not true. I've just been working uh, at... What did you think you could do? Start a revolution? Unseat me? Tom, I don't want to fight you. Well, that's just too bad. Because you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> Kid, I got a proposition for you. 
Please, let's just get out of here. Get in. Thanks a lot. No problem. What's your name? Ken. Ken. Relax. I don't bite. Not unless you want me to. I saw you fighting Tom out there. You're pretty good. I'm just learning how to defend myself. Hey, come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. You should be proud you know how to fight. I know a lot of kids your age are making a lot of money at it. But I can't fight. Why don't you take a ride with me and see what I'm talking about? And maybe, maybe you'll change your mind. Trust me. Take Lee? Okay. Okay. I realize that looks brutal. But believe me, each one of those guys wants to be in that ring. The winner will make a 5% cut of the fight's profit. And the loser will make about 2%. Doesn't seem worth it. That's about $500 for one night can. And that beats the hell out of mowing lawns. Hey, plenty of these kids pay their way through college like this. Yeah. They don't waste it all on plastic surgery first. expensive dinner. See what it's like to have some money. Man, I want you to get back to me. Look, sorry. I can't take this. Yeah! <laughs> 
right, there you have it, folks. Our very own Lee with a fast and furious victory. For money, but some of them could use it. She said a lot of them could use it to pay their way through college. They need money, there's better ways for them to get it than that. I'm sick of crap like this. What are you, Mr. Know It All Janitor? Billy, I'm sorry about that. Billy? I knew you always weren't a janitor, and I want you to tell me the truth. Ken, I used to be a cop. Then I killed kids. It was a mistake. Did you have to quit? Well, I couldn't handle it anymore. But I'm thinking about getting back into it. You want to bust the guys that are running the fights? Hurting kids to make money, and that's not right. These people are dangerous. If you refuse to fight for them, it could be real trouble for you. Well, we'll just keep training, right? Yeah, go warm up. You coming? Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Okay. Yeah, high school boys are such a turn on. Hey now, that was good, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were. You lasted what, three minutes? What a thrill. By the way, I dropped by your high school. I checked out that kid that's giving you so much trouble. Who? Who is that? Oh, you see, I think his name is Ken. Quite the good little fighter, isn't he? Nah, he's nothing. He was good enough to put you on your ass. I'm a bastard. He thinks he can fight me. I'm gonna kill him. You won't do anything unless I tell you to. I don't have to listen to you. Hey, I'm interested in him, Tom. So keep your hands off. Good, good, good. By the way, if I hear that you disobeyed me, and I will hear of it, Tom, then I'll make sure that you never
Spinelli speaking. Hey, Spinelli. Is this who I think it is? Yeah, it's your old partner. I thought you fell off the earth. Yeah, it has been a long time. Hey, that's something I need your help with. It's just a warehouse. There is nothing illegal going on here. There is. I've been watching this place. Now look, Billy, I am worried about you. You, you. you withdraw from society, uh, disappear for years, and then you call me out of the blue wanting to stop some illegal fighting ring that nobody knows about. People know about this place, Manelli. <laughs> Let's talk to this guy over here. Talk to him? Wait, you can't... Wait! Hold up, buddy. I like to ask you some questions. pictures of before. Yeah. Kill him. In the school. Make sure everyone sees his body. My pleasure. Hey, Kenny, what's going on? Hey. Um, nothing. I'm just getting ready to do a little workout. With that big black guy again? What's this? You've been spying on me? Oh, yeah, every day. You know, I thought you were on the track team or something. But you're not. You're working out with the janitor. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you why I work out every day. If you'll go out with me tonight. Ken, you know I can't. Why, because of Tom? And you don't even like him anymore. Yes, I do. No, look, you're just too afraid to break up with him. Look, he's my boyfriend, all right? If you can't handle that, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. That was smooth. You shut up. What? I tried to ask her out. <laughs> Didn't work. That's not the same thing. How does she feel about you? I don't know. I mean, she talks to me all the time, more than Tom. Maybe she does like me. If she didn't like you, she wouldn't talk to you. You think so? Hey, you probably one hell of a catch. Really? Yeah. Look at your competition. Tell me about it. <laughs> what? You guys are so insensitive sometimes. <laughs> want to get a soda? You want one? Uh, listen, Tom, do we have to see this movie? Can we go somewhere else? Like where? I bought the tickets. Like some place where we can be alone for a little while? Hmm, spend a little time in the back seat, huh? No, Tom. I want to go someplace where we can talk. Talk? What's there to talk about? We talk all the time. No, we don't, Tom. You haven't talked to me for weeks. And when I do see you, all you want to do is party or get into my pants while I'm sick of it. What do you think you're doing? 
You never used to act like this. That... It's Ken, isn't it? I'm sick and tired of the two of you hanging out all the time. Let go of him. I don't want you to ever talk to him again. In fact, if I catch you hanging around him, I'm going to beat the... You can't of... control my life. Uh, so tell me when you are my girl and you'll do exactly what I say. It's a time. We're through. Oh, my God. Julie, get back here. Julie! Tommy, come on. Let her go. Let her go. Can we get some popcorn, please? Any popcorn? You all right, kiddo? You know, uh, it's not healthy to be home on a Friday night. I'm fine. I'm just hanging out. How was the interview? I don't know, Kenny. I'm not finding the jobs I thought I would, and, well, waitressing, it's, it's okay, it's money, but I don't know. If I don't find something soon, we might have to move again. Don't worry about it, Mom. We're gonna be all right. I know we will. You are such a great kid. Listen, why don't you go out and have some fun with your friends tonight, okay? Okay. Hello. Hi, Ken. It's Julie. Oh, do you think you could come pick me up? I'm right across the street from the Cinema 6. Oh, please hurry. Regards. the outdoors man. well it's been midwest upbringing hey thanks a lot for picking me up tonight i really needed it it's my pleasure i mean i had big plans tonight but it was no problem breaking them now you've been so nice to me and i don't think i've been very nice to you no you have you talked to me when a lot of other people wouldn't and my boyfriend beat you up because of it look i know what you're doing after school every day Practicing. How'd you know about that? Mike told me. Listen, if you're doing this because Tom is still making no, trouble for you... No, I'm not doing it because of Tom. I'm doing it for myself. Why? So I could steal you away from him. You already have. Come <laughs> on. 
Billy, you're wrong. I heard your mom's having a hard time finding a good job. If money's tight, my offer still stands. Look, if you don't leave me alone, I swear I'm gonna go to the cops. <laughs> you know, I'm a very powerful woman, Ken. I always get what I want. If I think you need to be taught a lesson, then I'll make sure that you're taught a lesson. Just like Billy. Billy? What are you talking about? Go find out. You have something better to do, Mark? Get to class. Hey, man. Have you seen Billy anywhere? Yeah. I had breakfast at his house this morning. Look, he's gone. I can't find him anywhere. You mean he vanished? Wow. Just like Hoffa. <laughs> hey, hey, Jules. Get down to you Friday night. I need to return my phone calls. We are through, Tom. Understand? What the hell's going on over there? Dude, Ken? If you ever touch me again, I'll have Ken kick your ass. Ken? You went out with him, didn't you, you little slut? Go of me! I'll stay away from him, you understand me? Don't you ever touch her again. Touch her? I own her, Kenny. No, Tom, you don't own anybody. Oh, yeah? You're waiting a long time for this. You guys! Hey, knock it off over there! You guys! Hey! You want to settle this? Fine! But settle it like men in a real ring. Anytime. Any place. Eight o'clock, Friday night, my dojo. Don't! Not for me. This time it's gonna be for me. Eight o'clock it is. You're dead, Kenny Boy, understand me? You're dead! Eight o'clock's good for me, boys. Shut up!
fight tonight. Two young tough guys fighting it out over a woman. No, I've been watching them. They're ready to kill one another. what it takes to beat this guy. I mean, it's no question. Just go out there and um, keep a stiff upper lip and um, stay on your toes. Float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. You know this stuff. Okay. Just go out there and open a can of whoop ass on this guy. You got it, man. Hey. Thanks for being there for me. Four. You scared? I'm not. Ladies and gentlemen, the big event is about to begin. The windows are open. The time is running out to place those bets. So if you're putting down cash, you better cash. Everyone else, please clear the ring and get to your seat. Piece of cake. Piece of cake, man. You've got the stable. Oh my god. Ken, listen to me. Please don't do this. Tom is crazy. He'll kill you. Julie, I'm not going to lose this fight. Come on! 
kill him, my boy. Destroy him.
against me. This evening's entertainment. Please exit in an orderly fashion. consider working with us. We're not too happy with our sensei. Sure. Really? Let's go, guys. <laughs> Party at my house, buddy. <laughs> no alcohol, of course. Just uh, fruit punch and alfalfa sprouts for you. <laughs> yeah. It looks like you did quite a job here. I just did what I had to do. Now you listen. The department is looking for somebody to teach self-defense, and you know, uh, your name came up. Hey, thought you might be interested. Yeah, I think it's about time for me to get my life back together. Well, I hope so, my I hope so, my man. I don't. Excuse me. enough. Let's get out of this dump. We got some farting to do. Yeah. 